Welcome back guys, this time I brought to you some working techniques with which you can hack someone's Facebook account and also after knowing them, you can protect yourself from getting hacked. But before we start, if you have still yet not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. Many people may be happily living together in a relationship, but having doubt that the other partner might be cheating may hamper the happily living relationship. Well, most of us use the Facebook, right? So it is a good place to know or to get sure if someone is cheating on you or not. But now the question arises, how? You don't have access to the accounts. So now you may search the internet for some working tricks. But what if in that process, you yourself get hacked? Someone hacks into your account and sends some malicious or sends some messages to someone which might hamper your business or even your love life. Well, most of the websites claiming one-click Facebook hack will lure you to input some valuable information about you, like your account's ID and password, contact details of you or some other person, address, bank account details, or may redirect you to some malicious link that is known as reconnaissance attack, from where the hacker may capture all the details from your device you're using. And ultimately, you might get hacked, you might unknowingly provide the information, and then nothing can be done to protect your privacy or your money. I had put a username and it says that you have successfully hacked the account. But after clicking on the access code, I am redirected to a payment page, which again promises me to give the access code after making the payment. Don't get disappointed, guys. I'll not break your hopes. I'll tell you five working techniques with which you can easily hack into someone's Facebook account. And I can assure you, this will be worthy of the time you spend over here. The first technique is to install a keylogger software on the computer the victim is using. Well, keylogger is basically a small software which runs in the background and captures all the keystrokes given through the physical keyboard by the victim. Now, to safeguard yourself from this, it is highly recommended that you use the on-screen keyboard. Now, the next method is fishing. Well, this does not mean going out for fishing on a bright summer day with your friends beside a lake. Fishing means gaining trust of a victim to believe on you. You may send some email requesting a password reset or to review some activity. Now, this email must be looking very authentic. You might provide a quick link redirecting the victim to a fake web page which will resemble the original login page of Facebook. Now anything entered on this web page will be captured and directly sent to you on your computer. Now to protect yourself from this kind of attack, it is always recommended to open the website through the address bar by typing the complete link. The next method is creating a fake wireless access point. It is just similar to the wireless hotspot creating near your victim. The victim might connect to the hotspot and your device will also be connected on this same hotspot. Now, any internet activity done by the victim's device will be captured by you, including all the login informations. Next method is the cookie theft. Now, cookies are not those delicious looking cookies found in your mom's kitchen. But cookies are all the login details or the search results stored by your intelligent web browser so that it is easier for it to fetch information next time you log into the website or to give you recommended search items now the last method is the brute force attack i'll show you a quick demo after this video brute force is trying every possible password combinations which a victim might have saved including alphanumeric numeric and all the special symbols. you might load a dictionary containing all the possible password combinations or generate different type of password combinations by yourself or through online method mozilla firefox already provides a great add-on the fire force it will do the brute force attack for you. Just install this add-on and let's see a demo how this works. Suppose this is my victim's account. Now just copy the address bar URL of this account and then go to findmyfbid.com and paste the URL over here to find the numeric ID for that account. You can use this numeric ID as a replacement for the phone number or the user ID used to log in to the victim's Facebook account. Copy this numeric ID and go to the Facebook login page and paste it in the field of the user ID. Now next right click on the password field and you will see the last option as the Firefox extension. In the Firefox extension you can either load a dictionary containing all the possible password combinations or trigger the brute force attack by selecting the type of password combinations to try on. 
this is a bit time consuming but you might successfully crack the password.